This is Just Tool Basics, and today I'm going to show you how to modify a riving knife designed for 10 inch saw blades to work with European 250 millimeter saw blades. Hello everyone, welcome to Just Tool Basics. Today's project is we're going to be modifying the riving knife from a 10 inch table saw to work with metric saw blades. Now, in the US, standard table saw size is 10 inches. However, most of the world, with very few exceptions, doesn't use imperial units and their table saws are 250 millimeter saw blades. These two blades may look the same and in fact they're both labeled 10 inches. However, this is a 250 millimeter blade. This label is a lie. This is just a screen print for the American market and there is a bit of a problem using this table saw blade on a 10 inch table saw. And that is when doing a non through cut, that is a cut where the blade doesn't extend all the way through the material. As you're passing the wood over, you will impact this riving knife, which is a very dangerous situation. You have to stop your cut in the middle of a cut, which alone is dangerous since you now have to take your focus off of cutting and shutting down the table saw with your knee or, or one handed holding it in place while you shut the table saw down. And then you're also potentially causing burns on your workpiece. You could cause extra saw blade marks on your workpiece. And that's only because the difference between a 250 millimeter blade and a 10 inch blade is about 0.2 inches. It's actually less than 0.2 inches because a 250 millimeter blade is smaller than 10 inches. You, you would need to have a 254 millimeter blade. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to shave down the top of this riving knife. Now that won't affect the functionality with a 10 inch blade. The difference is minor. You're not affecting the safety of using a riving knife. So let's go into the shop and I'll show you what we're going to do. So first, I'm just demonstrating what a non-through cut looks like with the actual 10-inch blade. As you can see, the riving knife doesn't get in the way, passes right through just like you would expect it to. And then I'll quickly change out the blade. And put the 250 millimeter Freud blade on. Now, even though I'm expecting that this board is going to hit into the riving knife, it's still an uncomfortable situation. It's definitely not the safest thing. As you can see, it's only a millimeter or two, well, two, that is in the way. So that's what we're going to fix. So now I just need to make sure the blade is at a height that matches this piece of plywood that I'm going to use as a reference so that I can mark the riving knife with the distance that needs to be taken off. So first just need to clean the tip of the riving knife with a bit of denatured alcohol and then I'm going to mark it with red dicum which is layout fluid. It's a machinist thing. You can certainly just use a sharpie marker if it's easier but I had the dicum so I used it. Then I take my scribe and I scratch away that layout fluid so that I have a mark that then I can see. Now, I did put a little bit of tape on it here so that you could see a little bit better when I bring it over to the sander. And I'm just using an oscillating spindle sander. Which it actually uses a belt. Um, mine can interchange whether it's spindles or belts, but still called the oscillating spindle sander. And then I'm just taking it off with some, uh, I think this is 120 grit sandpaper. It was, it was used and uh, I just used what was already on the, on the machine. It didn't take very long at all. And um, now we're ready to reinstall and 
see how it works. Uh, I did have to use some denatured alcohol again to rub off the remaining dicum as well as a little bit of residue from that tape. And now we've reinstalled the riving knife and I'm gonna show that the non-through cut with the 250 millimeter blade now works just fine. Just like it should. Now I'm gonna swap the blade back out for the true 10 inch blade and show that the riving knife still works perfectly fine, even though it's a little bit shorter than it was. So that's all there is to it. With uh, that little modification, now your saw is able to work with any imperial 10 inch blade or any 10 inch blade that's actually 250 millimeters, or you can just straight up buy a 250 millimeter blade. Very simple mod, gives you a lot more flexibility with your table saw. Until next time, this is Just Tool Basics.